Red wine drinkers seem to fall into two camps, those who suffer from red wine headaches and those who don't. It is a real phenomenon. I've experienced the headache myself, but there are now wines on the market that promise to give all the enjoyment of a red without the subsequent pain to your head. Here with the weekend sip is Market Watch's Charles Bassey. Charles, thank you for joining sure, us. Sure, absolutely. Happy Friday. Happy Friday indeed. So what is the science behind the red wine headache? Well, there are a lot of different views on this, but one of the key key culprits that's pointed out is something called histamines. It's mm -hmm. something that's in your body naturally, it's in foods, it's in beverages, um, and wine has a lot of histamine. Does Red it, wine does. But does it tend to afflict women more than men? In my that I've, that I, that I've heard anecdotally, yeah. but, 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 uh, but to be honest, the science I've read has not indicated that okay. or whatever. And but you've never experienced I have never I have never experienced the red wine headaches. I have. So, I there you have. Go. But I have, I have a male colleague who did have, okay. have a lot of problems with red wine. So I don't know, this is again, the, the, but we, what we do kind of, what has been sort of established is that histamines can contribute to this. Right. And so an enterprising winemaker came up with a low histamine wine. Is this the first time? It's believed to be the first time, but let's be clear here. Part of what makes this low histamine is picking certain varietals. So uh -huh. these are two Italian varietals. It was an Italian winemaker, Dolcetta and Barbara. I mean, you can get a Dolcetto uh, in, from lots of winemakers, uh, but they are marketing this one as low histamine. There are some other things that they have done with this wine. Does that yeah. affect the taste though? Um, I mean, you know, to be honest, uh, these are light bodied, mm -hmm. sort of table friendly wines. They're not big, bold wines. So I don't, I'm trying to say this politely, they don't have a ton of taste to begin with. Yeah. Let's just say that. So I don't think you, you know, from what I can tell you, I don't think this is detracting from the taste, but these are not big, bold, flavorful wines to begin right. with. And we, you brought two with you. Right. We're going to try the Dolcetto. And we're going to try the Dolcetto. Now, we don't have any way of knowing whether <laughs> They actually don't cause red I wine do. headaches because we'd have to drink a whole lot more than we're going to drink today. Right? right. I mean, what we're really doing is judging the wine on its own. <laughs> what I would say is, think about it this way. This is a fine, table-friendly wine, mm -hmm. um, and if you bring it to a party, mm -hmm. then you have, don't have to worry about offending anybody who there might have go. that issue. Let's take a little. It smells good. All right. Yeah. It, you, you know what? It's an absolutely fine table wine. Right. You know what I mean? You, you could drink it with a lot of things, right. from a casual meal to a more, the, the, yeah. they, they say pizza is the, the ideal accompaniment, go. but I think, I, think it's, I think it's a fine bottle. Whether it's, or not it will cause a headache or not, we can't prove right now. I have to tell you, though, because again, like I said, right. I'm sensitive to it. It tastes to me a little lighter, mm -hmm. right? And so I don't know if that's because of the anti I have no idea, but it is a little easier going down. Right, it's, it's very easy going down, and uh, hopefully we'll all wake up tomorrow feeling fine. There you so go, there. so now no okay. guilt about Cheers. polishing off this bottle. Thank <laughs> okay, you so much, you Charles Passy, for that.